Hey everyone, welcome to Ellis Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching the channel as always. We're going to do a lot of riding mowers here lately it seems, but another one. Basically what we're going to do is make it a two and a one. Um, I got a LX277 John Deere that y'all saw on the channel last year. I think I filmed this one. Um, when I got it, it just needed, needed a deck belt or a primary, uh, yeah, primary deck belt and ended up, uh, I don't know how, but the, the deck is completely rotted out in it, completely rotted out. So the rest of the mower is good, runs, dries fine, and got to looking to figure out if I could use other decks that I could find for cheap because um, I just couldn't really find anything reasonable to put on this mower. As you can see, the hood and everything's going going bad like they all do on these things. Um, what you see in the background over there is a LX178. It's got a 38 inch deck. I picked that up as a parts mower because I have another one in the garage that uh, basically just needs a fuel system clean out and a carburetor in order to get it back going again. So uh, I picked that up to be as a parts mower for that and also use the deck on this LX277. Everything that I have seen shows that they're compatible. Even though we're going from a 48 inch to a 38 inch deck, we're actually going to, you know, have a little bit of money that is to be made here. I paid $100 for that. I'll give you all a look in, in just a second. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started on this two for one. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com or at ellismowers09 on Instagram and Facebook. I'll give you an overview of these two mowers. We'll get them off, get the decks off of them, swap the decks, put the deck belt on, and then we should be done, hopefully, with uh, making a two into one, essentially. Let's get started. All right, let's do the overview. So this is the LX277. Um, this, uh, this was the mower that um, my grandma had and she got for me last year thought the deck was in decent shape when i got it but i guess sitting under wet grass and pine trees and things like that don't really do a good number on these also i mean the rust probably was already starting and then that just magnified it most of the rust is under here i don't know if you can see the craters oh yeah you can definitely see them Unfortunately, the hood is just succumbing to the weather. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the top portion of the hood off. I mean, it's just so brittle. It's ridiculous. We're going to take the top portion of the hood off and just call it. Just call it good with the bottom portion. Make the mower look a little bit better. Um, you can see the rust spot that originally was on this was only about right here. And it was a small one. But now it's just eating through in so many places. It's just crazy. So this one's got the 17 horsepower twin cylinder air-cooled Kawasaki on it, which is, I love these things. These things feel like they just run forever. And then the donor mower has got this uh, liquid-cooled. Y'all know I had issues with that 279. Man. But I paid $100 for this one. I didn't know what to do with that one with the bad deck. I'm like, well, shoot, it runs and drives, but it's not worth anything if it's not cutting. So here's the deck on this one. I mean, it's in better shape, thankfully. Um, very usable, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to use it on this uh, LX277 that I have here at home. So... The rest of the mower is basically trash. Engine may be good. Um, probably not going to save anything after I... Um, man, it's tempting to just keep that engine around if I have a John Deere that's blown up. But that's rare, relatively rare. <clears throat> we'll see. Good plus is it's got four good tires and a deck, and those that's something that I really could use. So that's great. The um, this will help 
get that other LX-178 up and going as well. Um, with parts and whatnot, potentially. Especially the tires. So, uh, to get these decks off, it's really not too bad. This thing, like I said, this mower's basically been scrapped pretty bad. So, transmission, transaxle's leaking in the back. So, it's not really worth even trying to get, you know, fixed beyond what we got going on here. So, to get these off is really not that difficult. It's a three-point setup on the side right here, on the other side. And then we should be able to roll it forward. This does have a bad deck belt. I do have a deck belt in queue for this thing. And hopefully it'll just fit right onto that 277. Everything I see says that it will. So, let me, uh, let's, let's go ahead and do it, right? Do it to it. Uh, maybe not. Uh, I gotta get it off though. I guess it's been on here a while. But anyways, you just gotta pull these off. Pull those off. Push the deck forward to get it off of that bar in the front and we've got this we've got the deck off same i think the same practice with this we'll take a look real quick maybe i can get this one off for you so deck just pull <laughs> pull it right there i suppose goodness gracious So I'm going to pull that, pull those off. Obviously I can't do it on camera for some reason. I'll show you the condition of both decks before we put the 38 inch onto this uh, uh, LX277. Well here is that deck, the 48 inch one at least. Like I said, I just put, not long put a belt on it. And you can kind of see when you get grass built up and stuff. I mean it's just that moisture and everything just eats away at this mess and what happened was it was still running and then the then the middle spindle down here collapsed because there was not enough metal and so it just like i said the middle spindle collapsed and you're done after that so uh there's no fixing this thing I mean, it's got, I mean, it's literally just Swiss cheese, the whole middle of it. Looking under the deck. Oh, give me just a second here. You can just see how it just started completely rotting out. Just, it's crazy. Anyways. I'll get this out of the way and best thing to do is to actually jack the mower up in the front that way you can just slide the deck out otherwise at least on these 48s there's not enough room in between the front and the rear tires in order to get it taken off so uh, let me get the 38 off the other uh, LX John Deere and we'll see what we can end up doing when it comes to swapping these things and getting a, another uh, fun a functional mower out of this thing again. Well, I got the new deck belt on. I wanted to show you. This is for a 38 inch, like on an LX178. I was told you need to use OEM John Deere belts. I use the Stens, which is, you know, just fine. It's an M82462 for the belt and uh, your primary deck belt is going to be an M77988. That should be the same on this uh, mower as it is this one. We'll find out. Well, that's a cogged belt, so that doesn't really matter, but it's a little bit different. But we'll see. Um, we'll see if that is uh, the same. If not, the pulley length between uh, the engine and the deck should be the same so that belt will work fine one of these two belts should work if it doesn't i'll be surprised uh, everything turns freely 
one thing I don't really like is that this uh, um, spring tensioner seems like it's a little on the weak side, but I have freed it up some, so I think we're okay there. Um, and hopefully we'll be good. I will go ahead and put it on the mower, and we'll see if uh, we can get it to cut some grass with uh, 10 inches less than what it originally had. Nonetheless, cutting grass that makes it worth some money. So, All right, everything's on. Uh, the mounting points and everything. So let me see if I can uh, raise it up here. Belt nice and tight. Belt nice and tight. So I don't know if I can and it's got the whole rake look going on here, though. Um, let's see if I can adjust that a little bit. I wonder how you can adjust that. I guess I just got to adjust it down here at the bottom. Otherwise, it's going to look like... Hopefully the deck itself ain't bent down. Yeah, you can see it's got the whole the big old racing look associated with it so I do need to get it down a little bit at least on uh oh, I'll figure out how to get that left side down and the right uh the left side up Let me start it up. See if it'll uh, see if it'll cut some grass again. For much more than that, that thing is super quiet too. Uh, well, how do we do this? I wonder if I can go about trying to raise it in the front because in the back it's really not that, it's fairly even in the back from what I can tell. I just need to get it level in the front. And I think we'll be okay. It's just got the really, it's just not sitting right, unfortunately. So let me work on the deck. Your four mounting points are right here, right there, and then two on each side, which I wonder if I can show, show them to y'all real quick. I think I showed them to y'all already, but Ugh. get it down. Everything's working like it's supposed to, which is good. It looks, it kind of looks like I got pulleys that are a little bit off kilter, though, right there. So, I don't know if I need to pull up that arm a little bit in order to get it to work right. I might try that while I'm here. And then, we'll see what we need to do after that. But your mounting points, your second set of mounting points is right here. 
and you can raise and lower the deck as it is right there so I just got to do a little bit of leveling out here and I think we'll be okay um, we'll get it rolling here in just uh, just a little bit well there's the end result of the John Deere uh, I've already cut the grass and everything with it so it's ready to rock and roll I, I did uh, level the deck and everything one thing I did have to do and I was a little bit displeased just because I thought the deck was in a little bit nicer shape is the tensioner pulley for the secondary drive belt here on the bottom so that tension pulley right there at the front has a little bit of softness in it and so what it was is it was pulled all the way down and it got pulled all the way down and what it did is it tried to roll itself over the top of that tensioner pulley because it had it was uh, too much of an angle to the um, to the main pulley tower so what I did is I took and basically just bent it back and it stayed overcompensated a little bit that way if it does come back it's going to come back and it hasn't moved so I think we're okay um, like I said I was a little bit disappointed in that but all in all it, this deck has accomplished everything that I wanted it to accomplish so is that mower so 100 bucks got this thing back in business with the deck and uh, what $15 deck belt something like that so still money to be made on it um, basically turn something worthless into something that is uh, worth a little, at least a little bit of something now so uh, I'll crank it up I'll show you that everything runs and does what it needs to do and we'll wrap this video up Like I said, that's good. Uh, we'll wrap this video up next. And it, like I said, everything works like it's supposed to. It just has a 38 inch deck under it now instead of a 48 inch deck. Of course, it negates the value or um, detracts from the value of the mower a little bit. However, this is the cheapest way to get into a mowing, running and mowing machine again. So let's wrap this video up. All right guys, so that is everything on this video. Um, there's I had a customer that really wanted an LX277 again. It's the one that had over 2200 hours. She's in her 80s This one was one that I was thinking that I might fix for her But then I saw the price of decks and I said eh, I can find another LX277 That is in much nicer shape for much less money than it would for me to cost to rebuild this time and labor wise and I have I've got it in the garage and I think I'm going to do a little deck work and stuff on it because it's got a little little spot on the right rear of the deck like they all do. But I'm going to see if I can throw some bed liner or um, spray and bed liner or something underneath the deck to help protect it from rusting anymore. And so uh, we'll do that coming up. The Husqvarna I have is working just fine for her. It's just not as user friendly for somebody of her age. So that's when the thought process came out. It was a local small engine guy. He had that LX178 listed and he just said parts. And I was like, you know, what would what would you sell me the deck for? He said, I'd sell you the whole mower for $100. Like, well, I'm not going to find a functioning deck for that price. So I um, went ahead and bought it for the purpose of this because... Um, trading my grandma out for a Troy built pony which she said she really enjoys which is nice and this one right here is just chilling in the backyard and needed to do something because I'm not going to sit there and watch a uh, nice 17 horsepower Kawasaki go 
to uh, go to the dogs because I have neglected it and didn't have a deck for it and wouldn't get any money for it even if I had even if I just sold it as a hauler can't really get more than about a hundred to hundred fifty dollars for a hauler mower around here so that's where the deck idea came in did a little research found out that the 178s and the 277s were compatible with each other and went and picked that thing up for 100 bucks and we have a mowing uh lx277 again really sucks that this deck just turned to swiss cheese after i sold the mower but that's just the way things happen sometimes unfortunately i will get some decent parts and stuff out of it i probably let the deck hang around and i will definitely let this parts mower hang around until i get that other LX, it's either a 178 or 188 done. That one's on the short list um, here in the next couple of weeks to get done. So, this one right here, probably pull $400, maybe, um, at the most. That's what I'll probably list it for, price it to move. I need to get some things gone before the season really comes to a close. So, I may list it either for 400 or 450 and I won't take any less than 350 because it is worth that. Thank you all again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Sorry if I'm not fully in it like I usually am, but this is my first uh, video after getting the vid. So I uh, still struggle with a little bit of energy and whatnot. Luckily, this one was fairly easy to do with the deck swap and putting on a deck belt. And I'm thankful for that, at least especially at this time. Currently, that puts me at three riding mowers. I'm waiting on a belt for a fourth one. And uh, I hope all four of them leave before because I don't want to carry them into the uh, 2023 season because, as you can see, I've got plenty of them back there in the backyard to number one fix, number two sell next year. So thank you all again. As always, thanks for the support. You are the ones that help keep, uh, keep me cruising along here on YouTube and uh, get the support that y'all that I have uh, been given from y'all over the past five plus years. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com, ellismowers09 on Instagram and Facebook. Catch y'all on the next video. See you then.